Hello, Art1. So this is a video tutorial explaining our next journal entry, which is journal entry number four for this year. Uh, and it is called block by block journaling. So what is block by block journaling? journaling? Simply, it is simply where you put together boxes or blocks of different sizes and shapes. Kind of think of it like cartoon boxes. Um, you're going to see on the left hand side in the corner of the screen is my example that's unfinished that I'm currently working on. I'll talk to you a little bit more about that in a minute. And you'll see a finished example from a student several years ago who used a lots of text and pictures and images to tell us a little bit about themselves. So basically you're going to start with either acrylic paint or watercolor. You're going to get, as always, two in-class days to begin this assignment. So you could actually get the bulk of this work done in class and not have to make it homework on yourself. But if you take the entire time, you have until February 11th to complete the assignment for a full credit. So just as I mentioned in class, you're going to want to set up your boxes. Um, they don't have to be boxes. As you can see in the one example, they could be triangles. They could have some patterning in them. The more colorful they are, just the more fun they can be. Um, but you're going to make that decision ahead of time. That's the first thing you're going to do on the assignment. Following that, you're going to have to make some decisions. So on here is my example. You're going to see both of my examples, one being the unfinished example. Uh, one, I'm going to show you a few more things that I've done. on. So um, you're going to have three options to do the assignment. So one of them is to fill the entire all of your boxes with information about your favorite movie or television show. So I'm going to choose one of my favorite old movies um, from the 1980s. It's a movie that my family and I watch every year at Thanksgiving time, and it's called Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. The short synopsis of the movie, it's two guys who really don't belong together and shouldn't be friends, but they get stuck traveling with each other as they try to get home for Thanksgiving. Um, and they have to try all these crazy ways to get home, including using shocking trains, planes, and automobiles. So there are all these funny characters they meet all the way and like really quotable quotes that my family always quotes. So I have done mine using that movie. So all of my boxes, I used watercolor and some watered down acrylic. And then I took some ink markers that I have in the classroom, you're welcome to use. And I decided to outline my boxes. Now, the assignment, no matter what one of the three options you choose, is to make sure that you have at least three things in the final design that you yourself have drawn, not trace, but you have drawn from clear observation and you use shading or value. So you can see uh, my set of characters that I actually did on a separate sheet of paper. They're right here. Um, I've done shading on them. You see, I took colored pencil and I went in, for example, on John Candy. That's the actor's name who did it. It was in this movie. I shaded his belly. I've got shading on the side of his pants. You can see here on Steve Martin. Um, suit. Everything has been shaded and has full value. I did that in addition um, to the trunk that I drew on the actual paper there. That's a big part of the movie. Eventually those two guys will be sitting on the trunk. And then I have not in full value, but I use different types of markers to make uh, the title of the movie. In addition, I've made um, stickers. So I made them out of packing tape. I'm going to show you how to do that in class. If you're not in class, there is a video tutorial on how to do that linked on this Google presentation. Uh, and you'll see that in just a second. I've also done some other stickers of other minor characters, some of my funniest quotes. And then, of course, between some of the illustrations, I've even got some airplanes. Uh, because they drove, they rode in this airplane and it was a very funny part of the movie. So I'm going to have these airplanes that I'm going to eventually cut out after I finish shading them with colored pencil. And they're going to be flying around the scene as well. So all this is going to get glued down. And I'm also going to write in some more funny quotes and things. And I'm going to fill some of the pictures with more airplanes. And I even have some old map pages that I'm going to use. And you're welcome to share my map um, from my atlas. And I'm going to glue them into places that they traveled in the course of the movie. So you can have one of three options. One of them could be your favorite movie or TV show using the boxes that I just showed you. You could do a personal bucket list of dreams and goals you have that you'd like to have in your life. So it could be places you'd like to travel or sports you'd like to try or uh, foods you'd like to try. So you could create each box about a different food, whatever you'd like, but you need to, again, draw at least three of the items. They must be in full value. Now the shaded either in pencil, colored pencil, paint, you can make the decision. I even used a little bit of ink. And the third one is a positivity or goal board. If you looked at the example that was provided earlier in this slide presentation, um, that was actually an inspirational goal board. So that was a person who tried to come up with lots of inspo sayings, and they incorporated those in as well as drawings into all of their blocks. So you have one of three options that you can choose from. But remember, every single box that you make, and you must make a minimum of five of them, they must be filled. So let's go on. So you need to choose, in addition to making the boxes and deciding to do three different drawing things in the piece, you must choose two of these other new techniques. So I'm going to introduce you to three 
techniques in class. Your job is to select at least two of them that you use. One of them could be packing tape stickers. So it's literally taking old packing tape and putting it down on top of color or black and white photos of words or images. And I'll show you how they transfer and you're going to make your own homemade stickers so you can make stickers out of them. You may use any of the journaling materials I have. So it's an example is like the old Atlas pages or I have very small little microscopic little envelopes. You could put funny things in the envelopes. I have stick on letters you could use. You could use any of the materials I have to embellish your work. And the final one is to possibly use lettering or font styles that you looked up. If you can't come up with any on your own, you'll see there I have a link in the next, the number three where it says this great website called thefont.com where you can find lots, and I do mean lots, probably over 3,000 different fonts that you could possibly use as inspiration and place around all of your boxes. So your job is to choose two from that list of three. You may choose any combination of them, but they must be represented in your final work. So ultimately the end is always the question is what are we being graded on? <coughs> Sorry, so you're going to be graded on a couple things. Did you use the elements and principles of design correctly? So if you're doing shading, did you show me how to shade? Did you create a clear and obvious focal point? Stuff we've all learned in this class over the course of the whole year. So you can see my focal point is going to be the two main characters. They're going to be sitting on this trunk. And then I've used one of the techniques we've talked about. I've got some convergence going where things are going to be pointing on them. My airplanes eventually going to cut out are going to like they're flying towards them or away from them. So I'm going to have all these techniques to make this be a real strong focal point. So can you show the elements and principles of design? Your rubric looks something like this. It's the same that we've used in this class all the time. The only thing that's a little different, it says answers three reflection questions and uploads the assignment properly. Yours actually will be, did you write at least three of these boxes filled with quotes or memories about what you plan on making goals for yourself or in my case i wrote actual quotes from the movie i wrote about the memories i have with my own kids of watching the movie every year at thanksgiving and us laughing and being really silly about some of the things going on in the movie and i said i also did another one filled with nothing but funny quotes and that's what i'm going to plan on doing and filling the rest of my spaces which i've yet to do so hopefully that gives you some insight to the assignment. As always, you're going to have two in-class days to work on it. You can ask me lots of questions. You can experiment. It's a chance for you to take risks in a fearless sort of way. Please know that it is due on the 10th of February. That means that if you work on all of it or most of it during class time, the first two days I give it to you, you could, as I said earlier on, get it all finished. I can't wait to see your results. Good luck and ask me if you have any questions.